Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Group Chat. We have an exciting week. Number one, Justin Bieber's back. Yes. Like he never left. Mr. Bieber, he has a wife now. Yeah. Uh, next up, Movie Pass. I don't know if you heard of it. Dead broke, done, over. <laughs> okay. A little aggressive. <laughs> Last but not least, I don't know if either of you two brush your teeth in the shower, but it's disgusting. Let's get into it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Group Chat. I am your co-host, Drama. I am the co-founder and CEO of Young and Reckless and also the host of the Short Story Long Podcast, everywhere where podcasts exist. D? What's up, Drama? Hey. Mikey. God, what up? <laughs> D Murthy here, co-founder of Menlo Club and a very tired social media influencer. Yeah, big, big month of influencing. It's so much influencing, I'm exhausted. Yep. And... Um, Group chat had a record week, so I'm the co-host of that now. Ah, nice. When it when it's hot, it finally hit the threshold. <laughs> yeah, now I'm like now I'm, now I'm claiming that it's you know I'm a co-host. Ah, we made it. And uh, we are not where pod everywhere podcasts are found, because people hit me up and says I can't find your podcast on yep. Spotify or something. Yeah, where is it right now? It is Spotify. Uh, what? Where, where is it right now? iTunes. iTunes. Well, if you notice, I said the host of Short Story Long uh, were ev available everywhere where podcasts are found because that is. Yeah, that's why I mentioned <laughs> yeah. it. That I just realized we're not. Forever. Yeah, the engineer got lazy <laughs> when it came to group chat. So we have a lot of demands for Spotify. We'll handle that this week, guys. Yeah. I apologize. We're trying to get record numbers this week. We are getting record numbers, but imagine what we could get if we were on Spotify. Yes. And this is Mikey Taylor, ladies and gentlemen. We have a special, special, special guest today. I don't have a list ready like you guys did though no no just say you're a uh i skateboard and trying to influence and build things and, <laughs> like everyone else <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure this game out <laughs> perfect that's perfect uh, okay let's get into it guys i have a question i want to start this off first with just a question mm -hmm. S using your phone right and screen time and sort of this whole debate about social media and how much time it's taking away from your life and there's you know, people are starting to talk about it you two especially so i have my own ways of dealing with it but here's the thing i don't really have any like responsibilities other than work right i don't have a family i don't have kids i don't have those things so you i think barely that, have any friends barely like <laughs> squeeze the, here they are <laughs> uh, so so i i just want to get your guys take on like the screen time issue like do you do anything to combat it is it even an issue in either of your lives you both have kids you both have wives why don't you, why don't you start this one yeah so it was great timing for this question because we just had a world war three epic blowout hopefully my wife does not listen to this episode i doubt she does um what happened at your house so you yeah so my wife asked me recently because obviously i leave for work at 8 30 and i come mm -hmm. home at 6 30 he goes to bed at 7 at night and he wakes up at 7 a.m so I literally get to spend maybe an hour with him a day. And in the morning, she asked me, can you put away your phone for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. That has been a very big struggle for me. Really? 10 minutes? 10 minutes is hard for me. What do you do? Like, do you actually set it aside and like have trouble not grabbing it? Like physically what happens? So she, I'm pretty much like on a counter of the 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the other day I thought I was, you know, I had reached my my 10 minute goal and i didn't uh -huh. so, so like well i think about this all i not only is this an ongoing fight for us yeah uh i i spent a lot of time thinking about is it healthy or not for maybe you and i because i have the same issue you and your wife fight about it too oh, okay i think anyone who's like trying to like be on social media like and grow it and yeah. is married is getting in this fight yeah. unless yeah. the wife's doing the same thing right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but like i got yeah marry an influencer i guess yeah but for me it's like they like like we have a group of friends right my wife and the majority of her friends aren't using social media like we are right so like they look at me and go you're fucking crazy yeah. why are you on the phone all day long people yeah. are talking in front of you why are you on the phone right yeah and so i i like immediately begin to defend myself mm -hmm. but then kind of check myself at the same time and go wait a minute like mm -hmm. is this right like yeah. am i blowing it and i don't know i think there's a balance that uh i have not figured out but part of me goes but this is what it takes to succeed yeah right like it takes me doing this all the time yeah. to grow following but like, does it? I don't. I don't so know. my issue is, is more of like in the morning time. I don't. I'm not. I don't usually influence from like 7 a.m. to 8:30 a.m. Yeah. Mine's like actual work stuff mm -hmm. where I just get bombarded with emails, phone calls, whatever, planning my day. And so I, I, I'm trying to be responsive and responsible in those 
part parts of my business. Can it wait? A hundred percent. Can it wait? Yeah. It can wait. But my problem is, is that like I just for whatever reason I have like a disease in my head where I yeah. don't think it's a big deal. Uh -huh. But then my wife's like, "You're not bonding with your child if you're." Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so for me, like anything work, she doesn't get. That we're okay with. Yeah. If I'm on the computer, emails, anything, yeah. no problem. It's social media, yeah, right, is where she's like, you need to relax, right? Yeah. Um, but I have that same issue even without my phone. Like if I'm with the kids, I struggle with being present. Like my yeah. mind's thinking about other things and yeah. usually the phone has something to do with it. But dude, that's a personal struggle yeah. for me. Yeah. So and what was I think the, fight, the fight was that you set your phone, you grabbed it and she was like, you're a fucking- Deadbeat dad. Deadbeat dad. Oh. <laughs> Gosh, they know that how to just that. like. But then, what do you come back with in that scenario? Like, this is my work. I'm an influencer. My numbers are skyrocketing. Yeah, I mean, I don't. It's it's not about the influencing. Yeah. Like, oh, so, so you don't you don't make that argument. No, no. So the first argument I make, I have you know stages of arguments because yeah. depending on how bad the fight goes. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, this is work. We have to be very strategic with how we argue with I wives. Get that. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> you can't just come out. <laughs> can't use all your weapons at no, once. No, no, no. Yeah. You got to use the weapons wisely. Yeah. And to me, I mean, first it's just like work responsibilities and like, it's just very stressful running and operating your own business, you know, with 150 plus employees, people texting, emailing constantly, constantly lawyers, accountants, this, that, and everyone wants a timely response, right? And do I have 10 minutes? Yes. So I, I hate to keep using all this as an excuse. And then me tr actually trying to now build this as a core of my business mm -hmm. as a whole nother thing, which is literally you could be on your phone 24 totally. hours a day. There's mm -hmm. always somebody DMing you. Mm -hmm. There's always a comment. Yeah. There's always a, something you have to do. And I think my wife generally is very respectful of that and understands that. I think we struggle with like, is this, when does it ever end? And that yeah. was the fight we had. She was like, it, what if it never actually materializes and you never actually monetize it and this is our life forever. But even worse, what if it works? Well, you understand what if what if it works then you have to do even more of it yeah but i'm saying in the sense of so here's a difference yeah money can solve a lot of problems to a certain extent okay. like for example like you can get extra help yeah you can but you can't take away that doesn't replace so, so the bonding time is the is the real challenge but like for example i i have a lot of wealthy friends they have nannies and maids and chefs and whatever right mm -hmm. and but her, my, my wife's argument with that was what, but the time they do spend with their kid is more quality time than what I'm spending with yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So she's like, yeah, maybe they're not with them all day, every day, but that moment is quality yeah. time. Yeah, I get that. I feel like you got to start yeah, scheduling kid that, time dude. like it's a meeting. I, I actually think you do because, and then I, because I used the argument like, I didn't see my dad ever. Yeah just didn't yeah he worked all day he left at 6 30 in the morning and came back at 6 30 at night he didn't like oh well he wasn't present in in like activities and yeah. all that type of stuff yeah. and she was like oh so you want to be like your dad i'm like no yeah. but yeah. that's wow that's it, way beyond my like but it's skill but it's, set. it's tough but it, to have it, that fight it does make me feel bad because i do want to spend time yeah. with him i don't want it to be like i don't want to be like this absentee father either it's just so if I say, hey, I'm going to give this thing a year and I'm going to go all in on work for another year or two, yeah. then her concern is like, you may, it may be like this forever. Yeah. So that's where you got to the 10 minutes, put your phone down. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Let me ask you this question, guys, because here's the thing. So you guys are also in like a niche. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have the same issue, but this is the crazy thing. There's like 16 year olds that think they have the same problem as you two. They have literally no responsibilities that are just staring at their phone all day long. And it's really like creating a problem of like how people are just conditioned to behave. Like they're just used to it. So my question is, do you think that this whole screen time, you see it becoming more of a debate. Do you think it changes? Like, do you think that somebody implements, like, is there a surgeon general's warning? Like this phone may cause you to be a loser and have no connection with any of your family? Like, where does it go? So I'll still use it. I'm a loser then. Yeah, you know what I think <laughs> yeah, about though? This, I, I mean, I'm gonna talk to you. No offense. That's but fine. That's, I'm just, he's got kids that'll I'm just tossing them like, in. What I think about is like, I know how, what my phone does to me, right? It's very like, I could sit in front of it all day long, yeah. right? And so we're kind of the first parents that have to kind of navigate through this environment of our kids are watching us on the phone all day, mm -hmm. right? And what part of it is healthy and what part isn't? And like I like I find myself like my kids will scream at me now. 
because yeah. I don't hear dad, dad the first two times. Right? <laughs> dad, put your phone down. Like, Gosh, it, just this at is at Mikey Taylor. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, DM me. But seriously though, like part of it is like there's the pros, right? Where you're like you're connecting with people. Yeah. Like I, I think us as humans like talking to people or connecting, right? Mm -hmm. And the phone just made it so much more accessible to do that, which is a pro, mm -hmm. right? But like at what point are you missing real life at this, uh, happening in front of you without you really being at it? You know? Yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. And What's I don't the have an solution? answer yet. I don't is there know. any solution? I, I don't What's have What's the solution yet? for a 16 year old kid that has the same problem? I don't know. I mean, if the, the problem is, is we're, we're not far along enough in the cycle yeah. to know the damages it's doing to our lives, our relationships, and all these types of things. Um, it's like you, you're not reading the story. Um, my dad left my mom for his phone. It's coming. It's so coming. It's coming. And here's the thing. Here's it's the not thing. even another person. It's just a, it's, it's an iPhone. Yeah. And the crazy thing is that story could happen today, but you won't even be able to hear that kid tell it for another 10 years. Yeah. Right. So like at the best, we're 10 years out yeah. from like seeing real impact. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's why I was so impressed by you a few weeks ago. Or maybe it was like a month ago when uh, I have a you system. have your two. Yeah. I, he, have a fucking I mean, he's system, more dialed than we yeah. are. Yeah. And he. Has, I mean, he has a girlfriend, no kids, yeah, and he has it way it's more. It's a discipline, guys. Yeah. Honest, it's the same as working out. The way I see it is the same as working out, right? And the biggest thing is I got another phone where all the fun apps are on, mm -hmm. and, um, and I'm very conscious when I'm grabbing it. And when you grab it, it's like grabbing a, a video game or something. Like, you know that you're messing around. The other thing is I know the argument about responding and being active and all that stuff, but one good thing is we're all fortunate to be in the situation where there's people that can help us with that a little bit, right? And the other thing is you notice that just like with anything else, if you're consciously responding to all DMs and whatever for 15 minutes, you're actually much more effective. If you really count your time and you yeah. say, well, I'm working, I'm responding, I'm, I'm talking to my fans, you're actually spending about 10 minutes responding to your fans and working, and then you're spending 20 just looking Scrolling, around yeah. and, oh, this is interesting yeah. and blah, blah, but blah. But I'm not even, in my case, it's like, I'm gonna, after group chat, I'm gonna open my email. There's gonna be a hundred emails, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's gonna take me forever to sit and sift through all those emails. And then at some point I have to hop on social media, yeah. and do all that. It's just, I think the challenge with someone like me is, is that I'm trying to be a social media person and run a business. Yeah. I need to only do one. Yeah, or you just need help in the right places. No, I don't think you can just do one anymore. Yeah, you can't. it's just too. But but running a business. But you used to, to hire level, an assistant. You used to hire an assistant for work. You just hire a social media person. It's part well, of the, the new it, it, staff. Yeah, and there's a difference between just a sole influencer and somebody trying to be the face of their own business, right? Yeah. That's two different people. Yeah. And to me, you're not just an influencer, yeah. right? You're not doing like brand deals with like a bunch of other companies. Yeah, you're yeah, building yeah. your own companies, yeah. right? So it's like, I don't think that's an, I think your real kind of thing to figure out is how to do it all. Yeah, <laughs> right. And yeah. then the problem is, is I have a wife and a child. Well, that's the that's that's, that's the hard so, part so about it. The, and which is the most important thing in my life. And the only reason why I work hard is for yeah, them. I do, I feel but it. I'm but that's why you got to like, you got to schedule kid time like a meeting yeah. and have the discipline to keep up at it like you do with running. Yeah. You have, that's all it is. Yeah. And you, I can guarantee But kid you. time is, has to, the problem with kid time, the difference is kid time and running time. Running, I could do whenever. Kid time has to be the same sure, single sure, time but, every but, single day. But pretend How? that you can't, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to go work, you have to go run every Saturday morning. Who wants to run on a Saturday, right? Yeah. You have to go run every Saturday because you plan these things. So you plan it, you stick to it, right? Yeah. All that I'm saying is picture this. I can guarantee you that if I said, D, here is your schedule for the week. I planned it and it's email time, social media block res with purpose, respond to people, do this, do that, meetings, 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 20 minutes uninterrupted with Dom, then you get social media time, then you get blah, blah, blah. I guarantee you that not only would you get the exact same amount of work done, if not more, yeah. but you would enjoy each of it more because when you're working, you remember yeah. why you like hanging out with Dom so much and yeah. why it's worth it to, you know, instead of everything being this like blob of just busy. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I agree. I mean, I'm extremely it's disorganized, just a discipline, disorganized like, person. I think if I was organized, you know, you've it with, with my entire life, it'd be a lot easier to. Yeah. Do you have an assistant now? Like, with I, I life did, schedule? and then he got promoted, and so Gosh, instead, I, I got a videographer. 
Okay. That's 2018. <laughs> yeah. That's the new. I was like, yeah. she's an assistant or videographer. I'm like, a videographer makes way more sense. Uh, it's true. Gosh. Now you need both. Um, anyway, I'm just, it's crazy to me because there's been nothing like it ever. People compare phones to like what the TV was and stuff like that, but it's just not the same. It's like, I don't know. I just think that in five years, we're going to hear like crazy stories and side effects yeah and probably yeah it's interesting yeah okay, okay let's get into some news because that's what we're supposed to do here oh okay um god because we could go on that one yeah. for, <laughs> yeah, we could have a whole podcast about that um okay so les moonves yeah the s head of cbs yeah uh got me too yeah so the me too's are still firing <laughs> away he's like a mob boss and so have you ever met him no but i have a lot of friends who've had uh shows on cbs mm -hmm. And have, the way they talk about him is like, no, oh. I only know him from Entourage. He was on. He was like a character. He was like a, they would talk about him. Yeah, you know. But even if it was never. On. Yeah, he's like a power. Obviously, CBS is one of the biggest media companies. Yeah. So six women came out and said, it, in, it, and I think it's from the past, predominantly in the past, but um, obviously ex uh, accused him of sexual harassment and different things in that nature, and then saying that he was retaliating and intimidating. <sighs> They don't, there's no other details. And so the CBS board. So I, I was joking around with some friends who are actors this weekend. I was like, he's going to get pushed out. They'd be dying to get rid of like an old dude like that mm -hmm. and bring in some fresh blood because he has that company by the balls. Yeah. So um, they're like, no way. He's too powerful. Too powerful. I'm like, no, no one's too powerful. No now, one. Except the president. <laughs> Clearly, the president can do anything. Clearly, he there's wants. tapes. Les Moonves cannot. They can release everything. There's literally audio <laughs> tapes. There's proof. There's. I mean, that new uh, tape came out of him uh, talking about paying off the playmate. Yeah. And nobody cares. And then this week is Paul Manafort trial, which you're going to get a ton of dirt on, but it won't matter. So I think there's going to be a lot of. Do you think there's going to be a lot of like people? Because right now in Hollywood, there has to be a lot of like intimidating and paying off going on. For sure. Yeah. And so, like, I think this guy to not only be accused of me tooing, but then the intimidating. I just feel like that could happen. I think so he's more out of here. those could come out. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he's just a very powerful person. So it'll be interesting to see if he has. Are you guys watching Succession? Yeah, it's so good. That's I've been why, trying. I've been trying been to get drum on it. He yeah, won't get on it. I know. Yeah. What are you doing? I blew it. I blew it. Just I watched. Highlight books? Yeah. You don't watch. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shut up. Uh, I, you need to uh, schedule, watch good TV. I know, I know. That's what I don't need to schedule. Listen, I watched the first episode and it sucked so it's bad. The first episode was horrendous. Yeah. The first episode was horrendous and it's gotten so good. And it's it's relevant. Are you current? Yeah. Okay. I'm Maybe on I'm it. not. I'm actually one episode behind. I but it's too. about roughly around Rupert Murdoch's kind of type of family. I know. Family. I watched yeah, it. Yeah, it's sick. So that's why with the moon vest thing, it just shows like these. You got to watch it. Yep. Oh, man. Put okay. the book down. Okay, let's let me tell you what I will put the book down. Okay. No, actually, no, I won't. Uh, new, put the book down for Justin Bieber. Well, really, DJ Khaled. Yeah. Released a new single. Mikey has not heard it yet. That's it. not no. a world. What are you I... doing? <laughs> He's so, I don't know. <laughs> you have a new DJ Khaled. But doesn't like none of your daughters like like Khaled Bieber? Bieber? Music, no, or? not yet. I put something on actually for them. I was with you last week. Uh huh. Next day with the kids, put on some some what was his last album, Purpose or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Put on a song, nothing. They don't Daddy, like we don't like boy they they don't like boy boy music. They want girl music. Like so any female artist Katie they Perry love or whatever. Yeah, they love that. Any guy, mm mm. Interesting. Okay, well, here's my opinion. Maybe I could put on his older stuff, Flukem. Yeah, or you could try. Well, he sounds this like new... a girl. Yeah, yeah. His, yeah. Right. his original stuff. He sounds like a girl. Yeah, you're right. Um, okay, so he put out the he put out the single called No Brainer. Biebs, Chance the Rapper, Quavo. Yeah, uh, Assad. It's sick. Is Assad on it? Assad's the producer. Oh, good for Assad. He's so it's talented. His son. He's so yeah. talented at such yeah. a young age. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's my opinion. I think it's like you know it does its job. It is what it is. But I just I'm sick. I don't like DJ Khaled's production. The song is a banger. I it's a like no-brainer. It. I think it's too. Everyone's the same. It's like he has a blueprint of like. Yeah, I want that blueprint. I want see? that song every summer. I want really? Justin Bieber, Quavo, and Chance and Khaled. And now I want to see Assad grow up through these music videos. Yeah, I'm more on. I'm more on your side. I don't like Thank the you. same thing over. Really? Yeah. Khaled, I, I just hate I'm okay. Production. I'm okay if it turns a little bit, but like. I don't want the same thing. Yeah, I'm not a big innovative guy. Let me ask you this. Did you hear the new... <laughs> I like the same thing over <laughs> yeah. and over again. Today broke, I ate the same bean and cheese burrito for 20 uh, years. That's true. Did you <laughs> okay. hear hey, the... What's uh, the... I'm going to cut you just real yes, quick. Yes, what is the like general vibe or feel of Bieber right now? He's hot. 
He is. Yeah. Yeah. People. I think he's hot. You, you want to know? I, you, I think people know? know he's a little cuckoo. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, but I think kids like he, they kids idolize him. Uh-huh. Because, you know he's engaged. You know he's engaged, right? I heard. Yeah, yeah I saw. Yeah, I saw yeah, on his so Instagram. You know, I, follow, I follow him. You do? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. know what's great about Justin Bieber today is it's really uh, interesting because when we started Young and Reckless, we had Bieber wearing. Yeah. Young and Reckless Drama got him a chain I yeah. think it was a Young and yeah, Reckless he, chain yeah, he was my friend Yeah but you guys used to hang with him Yeah he was right? my boy yeah. What's funny was Is like We used to like Hide the fact that he wore the brand It actually hurt us Yeah Back then That's I could true. see that Now Every brand dis- Luxury designer brand Is like Tripping Try. over themselves yeah. To get yeah, Justin he, Now he's like the white fashion dude Like he's wearing Fear of God I He looks like it, YG yeah. in the video Yeah uh, did you see the video? No, by I the saw way? a post. I didn't. Yeah, I haven't either. So the video is like 35 ads. Okay. There's Ciroc. There's Bel Air. That's Khaled. There's a, a weed pen. I think it's called candy pens. Yeah. And then there's a, a really? golf cart mm-hmm. w- that says Fashion Nova in it. And then it's a golf cart full of girls driving a Fashion Nova truck. Khaled is cart. just. A- it's just like. Oh. The video is actually really cool and fun, but I couldn't believe how many brands. We're in that video. It would That's Khaled, man. He does not give a shit. No. And it works for him. He gets like a pass to do this stuff. Yeah, if anyone any- else does it, <laughs> it comes off as bad taste. Yeah. Because let me true. ask you this. Uh, just as an example, the, uh, Benny Blanco put out a record with Halsey yeah. and Khalid. Did you listen to it? I did. Okay. I love it. Okay. I think that is the is a better example of like a producer producing a really well done record with two artists that work well together and the song's good. That's just my I want to give you the opposite side of the thing, right? Yeah. Where I feel like he did a really good job. Khaled just does the same thing over and over. And yeah, over. it's funny. On the drive to Costa Mesa for the Run Club, uh, the guy that drew, was driving, he was like, "Have you heard this new song? Yeah. To Benny Blanco and Calvin and Halsey." And he's like, "This is my favorite song right now." Yeah. It's a banger. And I didn't really like that it. One, that one, really? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I don't like Halsey's voice. I love Halsey's voice. I like it, too. Oh, she's an angel. Okay, moving on. Uh, movie Path. Yeah. Uh, some of our employees use it. Yeah. Swear by it. Love it. Seemed too good to be true. It definitely is. Apparently it is. Yeah. <laughs> so last week, they like just kind of ran out of money. Yeah. And we were also talking to one of the Movie Pass users just now in our office, and... Uh, they it literally just essentially shut off Mm -hmm. so it went from you pay the monthly fee all these movies are free in these time slots whatever to like every movie is just eight bucks yeah and that's pretty close to regular price what happened they literally just ran out of money and they had to borrow five million dollars to keep the lights on i've been in some pretty fucked financial situations in our business We've always had like the lights on at least, <laughs> yeah. you know, like even payroll, like, yo, can you deposit it after four? Like, yeah. you know, like still, it may clear by Monday, but like this is just nuts. Nuts. And cause it's like, I don't understand why no big company, I mean, they're obviously part of a bigger entity, but like why they can't raise money. Do people not believe in the business model? I it think must it's not a, at all. I mean, look at what's happening. Well, I think it's a, such a, Genius concept. I think it's. it's a, I think. I think it's a, actually a great concept. Yeah. I think they were just off on their numbers, hearing yeah. how cheap it was. Yeah. And oh, oh, <laughs> talking about, I don't know if we should bring up his name, but their employee that uses Tyler? it, Tyler. Uh, <laughs> he was saying that basically, like, it's nine bucks a month, and yeah. he went to like twenty-five movies that month. It's like, <laughs> yeah. how do you yeah, sustain Tyler's a business like, on the Tyler, other end? Tyler is what's you know. sinking movie bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're the problem. Yeah, uh, you're the problem. But how many guys are doing that? Yeah, Probably a lot. Psycho watching that. 25 movies a month. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, it's that's true, problem. man. Damn it. I think it's a I thought it was a good idea though. It's the same thing with ClassPass. Like ClassPass I think is a, a, a is very similar in that, but Is I that think, working? You know, I don't hear much about them. They've just they've raised a lot of money. I think it's a better business model yeah. cuz they're uh utilizing off time at these uh gym locations. And I for movie pass like uh, my guess it's very similar like utilization of the theater is probably very low it's probably only busy at you know 20 yeah. percent of the time yeah. so the idea is great and i think going to the movies is not a thing anymore and so in it's order true. to but who, who who started amc who started one a competitor amc we talked about that yeah that could have some legs yeah because it's it, their own yeah and they can optimize it to help their business out yeah so but, amc started their own like movie pass got it well, we'll see what happens, but it seems too good to be true, and this is a sign that it is. Exactly it's going to be right. a good movie. 
the movie pass movie yeah is it free or is it 899 <laughs> 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 we have Netflix okay here's my next question it's a little random but I have to ask do either of you brush your teeth in the shower yeah 100% every really? day every, I do it every morning every morning yeah every single morning yeah. yeah is that a time issue or you gotta get back to Instagram yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> well, the phone's water, the, that, phone, the phone's waterproof now, so I'm actually showering. Yeah. You're brushing your teeth. <laughs> I uh, wanted to put an iPad in my shower and just be like, doo, doo, doo. you know, you totally could. I don't know what it is for you, but like, <clears throat> it started because I started shaving in the shower, mm-hmm. right? Okay. And once I started doing that, I was like, damn, there's a lot of stuff I could do in the shower mm-hmm. that's like kind of more feels better than out of it, right? Like, yeah. I got the warm water on me. Why not brush my teeth yeah. with that as opposed to staring in the mirror like cold? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You know? I, I, really? I, so that's more of a like calming thing, it sounds like. I think it started as actually truly trying to be efficient. Yeah. In some Mine's way. definitely a time issue. And I was reading that article in the Wall Street Journal and said that only 4% of Americans do that. That's shocking. Why? I feel like a lo- I feel like a lot of people do it. Four percent. That's nothing. That's not a lot. I I figured like half the population and the other people who don't do it. Like I was, I forgot where I was, but I think with some family, they're like, "You do that? That's disgusting." Really? What What's so disgusting? I'm not peeing on myself. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what's disgusting. All it is is toothpaste and yeah, saliva. I, I, I'm I'm not sure. I don't do and it. And it's not like just like dribbling out. <laughs> yeah. I the only know. thing I could think of is that like you're kind of washing your mouth out with like the shower faucet but like it's the same as the shit right same as the sink but what the article say why the article say it was gross it's just people think it's gross Mm. i don't do it i've just never done it you know what i will say you're all about efficiency you want to know what i'm about though i'll tell you what i'm about because i'm a little ocd also and i'm about like my electric toothbrush is on a charger me too. So if I take it, I take it into the shower. Chances are I'm going to leave it in there, mm-hmm. and then the next time I'm going to have like I like things to a be fully where they, charged. Electric toothbrush lasts for one week. I know it's not going to die. I'm saying I like things where I left them. I like to know every morning my toothbrush is on the stand. Move the charger to the shower. It'll electrocute me. No, it won't. Yes, for it, real? It takes a cord. Seriously? No, but like it's not. Uh, there's not going to be an electric cord underneath the okay. f- faucet of your sh- drama shower. from group chat dies after. <laughs> It'll be a cr- Sonicare you know. explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try. The- Listen, I'm gonna try it uh, tomorrow morning. I brush my teeth longer in the shower. I, I just, take a solid I, ten minutes. I was to just brush about my teeth. to say that. I was just mm. about to say that. You do brush your teeth longer. That in the makes shower. sense. Because you just you're just like uh, yeah. Zzzz. True. That is one thing I hurry through the brush. Yeah. Like you're supposed to brush your teeth for like three minutes. Or something. I'm in there ten Obnoxious. minutes brushing my teeth. Huh. Zoned out. Guys, how uh, long are your showers? Twelve. Do you mostly <laughs> brushing teeth. M- my teeth is the most cleanest one. Scrub, 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 brush I, teeth. I never shampoo my hair either. Really? No. You just get it wet. I only get. Yeah, I get it wet. How often? Like you got to. What's the strategy happens? there? The strategy there is you all get the fluffy? junk I put in my hair, like a paste yeah. or whatever. Yeah. If I shampoo my hair every day, I have no volume in my hair. Huh. Yeah, I it's find just like. like who yeah, thought? but there's like yeah. a thought that volume is one I'm of your with issues. You volume is a big issue. I'm, with, I'm totally with you. Actually. Yeah, emails. Dude, as you get older, your hair thins. I need volume. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm with you. Well, listen, yeah. everyone. Turn the volume up. Everyone, comment. <laughs> Group chat sponsored by Rogaine. Rogaine. Okay, listen, <laughs> uh, everyone, comment. Let us know if you uh, if you brush your teeth in the shower. Because I'm curious. I think, I think that four percent number Kathy's, is way off. A lot of Cathy's are brushing their teeth in the shower. Oh, we forgot to shout out the Cathy's Ka- on the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Shout out to the Cathy's. The name stuck. Yeah. You got to keep the Cathy's. Cathy's merch will definitely come. Cathy's merch is coming. Proud of you merch is coming. We're yeah. proud of all the Cathy's. I saw a few people say they were going to unsubscribe. I'm not buying it. Yeah. And you know what? If you don't want to be a Cathy, then you can go ahead and get on with your life. Because <laughs> some people suggested groupies, and I think that's rude. Groupies is yeah. Groupies has like a sexual connotation. Kind of does. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It also just to me is like the ultimate like belittling. Like what's, you're a groupie. Like no, I just like to listen to your show. <laughs> yeah, you're you know just a I mean? Kathy. Like hey, I just like the content. <laughs> yeah, just a Kathy. Okay. Um, next, people are making 3D guns. Yeah. W- why? So there's a big discussion on. This is going to be a really big legal issue. Okay. On 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 the printing of 3D guns. Mm-hmm. We're in the early stages of it. Uh, t- sorry, it took me the whole time trying to figure out what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, yeah. 3D guns. Yeah. yeah, so like, you know the 3D I printer? Thought, yeah, I thought you said 3D. They're making 3D guns. <laughs> well, well, I think it takes less than okay. like three So they're making guns. 3D guns. Yeah. Yeah. Like so, that skate clip I just saw with the guy holding a... Yeah. But that yeah. was real, wasn't it? Which one? There's some dude, like... Rolling around with like what well, looks like an AK-47, does like an ollie over a barrier, board slide, pulls the thing out, just pop, pop. 
and shoots. But he says it's fake. It's got to be real. It's got to be real. So, so yes, three D is like the three D shoe, no, except for like literally this big, and you print it on your at home three D printer, and it's a fucking gun. Yeah. And, so and there's so like, one. And it's so, plastic. So is it plastic? Um, I think they are plastic. So there's one company called Defense Distributed has a received uh, federal firearms license to manufacture and sell the group's guns. So 3D printed firearms. Guns. They have to have a license to sell yeah. it? Why would you have one though? Because you could, people buy them. Because it's America and you can't. And I wonder what the rules are on that purchasing 3D guns versus. It's about I'm to get sh- real weird. And by the way, if you can, if people can figure out how to do it, there's going to be illegal 3D printed guns all over the place. Yeah, you want to know what else I saw is that you can also buy, you can 3D print like, you know, you can like build a fully automatic rifle because you're able to 3D, 3D print, print all parts, the parts mixed with parts you yeah, can right. order mixed yeah. with. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Holy shit. It's getting real yeah, it's getting sketchy. Like I think that's the only reason why screen time may never matter because we might jump right past it <laughs> so into just like 3D other. AK-47s. Totally. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we're not, like Twitter uh, is the least of our worries. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's sketchy. 3D printing is the one thing I'm not a fan of. Agreed. At all. At all. Because it also kills like, every industry. Yeah, like they're like, uh, someone, I was talking to someone who's not who's in technology. He was like, oh, you're in the clothing business? That's stupid. Everyone's just going to print their clothes at home. And I was like, no, they're not. <laughs> and then he's like, and then I was like, well, maybe they will. <laughs> and you're like, maybe. You know you can't 3D print? Content. No. Podcast. That's true. That's yeah. true. You got to keep these going. That's true. This is <laughs> the only, the only thing the robots can't take from us. Rogaine, sponsor us. Uh, <laughs> um, Travis Scott. Yeah. New album coming. Huh? Yeah. A lot Astro of World. Papa Travis, you know? Dude, I, there's been a lot of good music coming out. Yeah, there has. I like, have a prediction here. Hmm. Album is going to be crickets. What? Really? Interesting. Yeah. Why? Why? He's crickets to me. I think you're out. I think you're. Wait, why is he crickets to you? Because you don't like him? Yeah. You well, like that's a bias no opinion, brainer, though. but you don't like Travis Scott. I want to be able. I can't sing along to Travis Scott except for Goosebumps. Wait. I I don't know if the majority of people agree with you, though. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know That's because true. you don't like the single <laughs> long. Let me tell you something about D. He will, he, he will make this prediction. He's usually right on his prediction, <laughs> but he'll make this one. Okay. The album will be hot, and, and he'll lo- be all on board. <laughs> I could be all on board with it. Yeah. I'm just saying he'll I think like, it's going to be... I'll be listening to it. I'll probably listen to it. On. Did you like his last one? I like songs on it. I just think he has a very monotonous sound yeah. and he hasn't evolved and I, so this is like his a chan- future or something i mean that's kind of yeah. what happened to asap rocky yeah yeah i mean he's like the legend which and sucks because i think he's so good yeah but his album was crap. yeah, it was crap. yeah, it was yeah crap. I, just, I don't know i'm just betting on this i think travis number one fresh off a famous famous baby and kanye may have helped him with a bunch kanye of may have helped yeah. him his billionaire wife is going to be tweeting the shit out of it yeah. yeah i'm not saying it's not going to do well i'm just saying i don't know if it's going to be they good married? They're not, right? No. Okay. Well, you know what I meant. Yeah. Uh, billionaire baby mama. Um, but I don't know. I have a lot of faith. I think he's insanely talented. He wrote a lot of Kanye stuff. See, I stuff. do too. I think he's so creative. I don't... Yeah. Which part is creative? Just so I understand. Because I don't find him to be creative. The whole, you're really? Crazy. No. You're crazy. What part you, of it? Do you think DJ Khaled diving? is creative? Ah! That's creative? He like produces all the stuff and writes all the weird and all the weird like vocal effects. He came up with all that. What the auto tune? Listen, mm. listeners. What part? I just don't explain. Wait, so I the want, album comes I'm out Friday. Asking. Friday morning, we're gonna have a podcast okay. about how hot the album. We're is. just blowing over D's question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm just getting exposed. Well, no, the, <laughs> the whole thing. What is creative? His the, haircut. Well, his music is creative. You can't say it's not creative, right? Okay, that means not good. The so. writing style, the vocal effects. All the Delivery. Kanye, no one ever said vocal. Travis Scott's a lyricist. No, but no, but it's so creative. All right, listen, we'll circle back on Friday. We'll cir- <laughs> Just block the out. <laughs> we'll circle back on Friday. We should do a Friday that's morning. Good. I'm always looking for new music. We're gonna have to do Friday morning uh, instead of Thursday night because we gotta wait for the album to come out. Okay. What are you on right now? What's the, the week? What well, music wise? What's uh, the new album? Uh, Wheels on the bus. <laughs> Rafi is big in our house. Okay. Um. I like I love the last Future album. I love. See, I'm a big fan of Future. I think it all sounds the same. You love the Future really album like that him. just came out. Yeah, I love it. That's bias. No, and I, I will say I, no, I haven't been listening to it. There's definitely okay, do you Future think albums creative? I don't like. Do you think Future's creative? No. Okay. 
If you can say that, then I can't really. I think Future is really good at the His sound, sound that he's yeah. at. Is Travis Scott more creative than Future? No. They're the same in your eyes? No, I just think Future to me is more like star. But I believe Travis Scott's like producing all the records. Future's just in there like... <laughs> Mask off. His his melody game is... <laughs> okay, we're getting lost. Let's talk okay. about Awesomeness TV. Okay. Um, they sold a piece, half of the company? Yeah, so they've done a couple different transactions. Mm -hmm. DreamWorks was an early investor. They sold their piece to Comcast, NBC Universal. Mm -hmm. Verizon got involved. The business is worth, at one point, the peak $650 million. I remember when that was like the thing. Like Awesomeness TV, like this is the future. So it's not. It's the past. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is now the past. It's not that awesome. Yep. Here's the problem. They were valuing a uh, pretty much a YouTube channel Yeah. for $650 million. That's what blew my mind. So, I mean, all these people are pretty smart. You think, uh, you think a, a, a YouTube channel has 150 million subscribers total amongst all their channels is worth that much money. It's just insane to me that all those smart people yeah. made a mistake. I don't know what they thought was going to happen. Because nobody knows what the fuck is going on. So yeah. they're just betting totally, on like, They're I just know. like, fuck it. I don't know. But if, if this place has this many eyeballs consistently, this is taking eyeballs away from Disney Channel, away from all these places. Yeah. This must be the future of it. And I remember they were just doing like endless amounts of shows. Like everyone had a show on Awesomeness TV. Except us. Except us. Who bought them? Uh, so Viacom bought it. Just trying to figure now. out what to do with your bo your boys at MTV. Mm -hmm. What do you think the strategy there rough is? Rough over there, too. Just <laughs> yeah. rough, is it really? There's a lot of rough. Is it? I mean, are you, are you watching it? <laughs> yeah, when's the last time you watched it? <laughs> oh, fuck. Do your yeah. kids watch it? No, actually. Yeah, I'm watching Succession. And yeah. I'm like Netflix. Yeah. Uh, That's the rest HBO of the world. Show <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. It's Instagram and then Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's rough. I think they don't know what to do, but they, so it went, is there a valuation with this new? It just bought it for the whole thing for 25 million bucks. Plus, it, so it went from six fifty to twenty five million. Yeah, is it still just a YouTube page? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they may be. Maybe they sold some content. I don't know. Let me just say this: all these new media companies are overvalued. Vice, yeah. Awesomeness TV. Vice is out of here. All these things. Vice is, huh? Mm. Yeah. Well, let me say this: I don't want to see anyone. I want everyone to prosper and get their hundreds of millions of dollars. But I will say that it makes me a little happy because I never understood things like Awesomeness TV. I always, when I looked at it and that's the people that's where all the action was a few years ago and they were at a six hundred million dollar valuation I was always like what the fuck like what does this mean does this mean I should only be doing YouTube and trying to build the next MTV on YouTube it, the next MTV will be built on YouTube it's just not worth six hundred fifty million dollars totally that's so does that mean is. that there's just like a bunch that are worth less as opposed to one big giant? Yeah, I mean, I it, that's like saying Logan Paul, you should buy the Logan Paul station for well, 50 million bucks. That's worth about 25,000 now. Casey Neistat, what would he sell his company for? 12 million to CNN? I thought 16, it was 25. Million? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They couldn't even figure that out. Yeah, they just gave it back. Yeah. Said no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> did they really? Yes. CNN. <laughs> they wrote the check and said, "Okay, we'll just write it off." You did a deal with CNN. And, I didn't uh, know that. Yeah. You can't monetize this stuff yet. But what happens? Like, like we're just doing this for fun at this point. Yeah. <laughs> at least we're having fun. <laughs> but here's the question: Does somebody? Do these people start to like collect? Like you have a hundred. This one company owns a hundred channels. Is that what there happens? There has to be value in it. We're, the, just the there is. The it's point just, is that we don't know wild, what the value truly is. Yeah, yeah it's just, it's, maybe it's just not a big business. That's the real issue. The problem is, is when big companies get involved. So when someone buys something for hundreds of million dollars, values at six hundred fifty million, they're thinking this is a multi-billion dollar business. Two years go by, three years go by, and they're like, ah, maybe this is a fifty million dollar business. Yeah. And then at a fifty million dollar business, you lose all big companies because it's a waste of time yeah. for Comcast, NBC, Universal to do fifty million dollar business. Now it's 25. Yeah, <laughs> 25. Just like that. Yeah. That was like three years ago. That yeah. was the hottest thing in the world. Oh, it's weird out here in the internet. Yeah. Um, okay, let's talk about Kanye because for once, well, you're more of a fan than I am, but for once, we're really on the same page. Yeah. Uh, last week, we had a big debate over whether telling someone that you're proud of them is disrespectful. Mikey, what do you think? You know what? Prior to our conversation yeah. earlier, 
I would have said, no, it's not. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's awesome to tell somebody you're proud of them. But if we wrapped, we said, okay, great, good episode. And then Tyler came over to you and was like, yo, man, super proud of you. You did a really good job. Wouldn't you be like, hmm. you'd be like, go, go fucking watch a movie, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> you know watch what? Number 26. I, actually, I actually might be the wrong person to ask for this. Really? Because you just you, don't care. Yeah, I, I personally don't care. Like, I, I think like, I mean, maybe it like depends on how you're delivering it, mm -hmm. but I feel like anyone who's trying to give you like he slapped your butt and said, "I'm proud of you." Yeah, like well, I mean, <laughs> it might like shock me, but I'm like, he meant well, you know. He was really just trying it's to like big boss. me up. It's like when people I think it's boss one thing. Chief I think you, it's you know? one thing if somebody's like trying to tell you something like "good job," but it's like there's an undertone, like mm -hmm. not really. Mm -hmm. That's one thing, mm -hmm. you know. But I think like you know, if he's just trying to tell you, "Dude, good job, man!" Like yeah. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boss is definitely yeah, the most etiquette. disrespectful. Boss In India. Chief. Everyone calls staff boss. That's disgusting. Yeah. It's the most d disrespectful thing I've ever seen. Like at a restaurant, boss, 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 oh, boss. That's so Just rude. in the wave too. Oh, if I saw that in a restaurant <laughs> here, I would God. fucking throw up. But I guess it just depends, right? Yeah. Well, you just, yeah. But you can just feel it. I think that there's a proper way. Don't get me wrong. I don't get too deep into it either. But I think there's a proper way to be like, yo, man, that was that was right. Well, that was really cool. Like you're killing sure. it. Sure. Yeah. Or congratulations. Or how often do you think that happens though? Where like someone like a no offense, Tyler. Someone <laughs> like Tyler, <laughs> I'm proud of you. Like how often? How many people are there that do that? Because I feel like most of them would be like, lot. hey, man, you killed it. It started I, because it happened in real life. It happened with someone that we know. Yeah. Uh, said it. To, here's the funny thing. Said it to him. Fuck it. Said it to him. And the office started roasting the situation, right? Because they felt like he was sunning him a little bit. Yeah. And then said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, this guy just doesn't know. Yeah. So who cares, right? But so it's when a bit he of said it to you, you were like, did, have you heard? Did you hear the roasting prior? Yeah. Okay. So they you were, were really on it. Him. Okay. And okay. then he just on a completely different topic said, "Yo, man, proud of you." And I was like, Wait, oh, is this shit. really Tyler though? Was he really the person? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just no, it amazing. Was. It's just a bit of a sun, right? Uh, it's like it's like sunning someone. Anyway, yeah, the point yeah. is Kanye West agrees. Yeah, and so, so what Kanye, did Kanye say? He said pride is one of the deadliest sins and then he had like 10 other tweets and then he said replace pride with love. Instead of saying I'm proud of you, say I love this. I agree with him. I agree. He said do things from love, not ego and not pride. Okay, you ready for this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Couldn't agree more, but like, is that hypocritical coming from him? Meaning, yep. meaning he's like, the most he seems ego like the driven. most egotistical, yeah. like, there's no real love in him at all, treats people like shit, mm -hmm. but yet is going to make a statement like that. Yeah. And I'm a big Kanye fan. I will tell you, I'm a big Kanye fan. Yeah. But that quote seems so weird coming from him. Yeah. But, the, but it's right. Is, that's, but that's he, why that's, he's a psychopath. Right. But that's why he'll he can say, say that. And then next week he'll be like, I am Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> like he reposted <laughs> last totally. week. He posted last <laughs> week, I'm not, I'm no longer taking advice from anyone less successful than me. You should always do that. But now you should that always do that. <laughs> but this is the crazy thing about Kanye is like, Kanye would like not take advice from you on clothing because he's more successful in music. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's that type of like. How much you know, of it I'm, though is like the bi the bipolar shit though? Like how much of this is lost in that? Uh, I don't know. I because I, I, I meet a lot of people who think like that and I don't know, think they're bipolar. I think it's just like, a, it's more of a success thing. Uh -huh. Then I think when you become really successful at something, like especially at his level, like the peak of your industry, it's really hard to be like humble and uh, about a situation. Like I'll meet with really successful people, and when they actually ask me for my opinion, I was like, oh, really? Why? Like, really? Yeah. Are you proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> Can you just tell me you're proud of me before I leave? <laughs> this is the thing. This is my question. And I, I, I wanna... think the quote's nails, though. I think he's totally right. Yeah, I think he's killed it. But I, I want to tread lightly here because I do respect the mental health thing. But my argument is like, would Kanye West be bipolar if he wasn't famous? I think. Well, I don't know. He is he called... a real bipolar? That's what I want to know. I don't know. And I don't know if the bipolar was sort of induced by just being able to do whatever the fuck you want for so long that he's just became this like ego. I think that's different. That's why I'm saying I think it is different. I don't know that if Kanye West was like working at a record store in Chicago, if he would be mentally unstable. I'm yeah, sure but then is it circumstances a have uh, circumstances create mental instability? Yes. So mental instability, yeah, but mental illness though, like a, something like a bipolar, it's like a chemical imbalance. Like you can like 
But I think you can, certain like, things fame tr- yourself into a chemical I, imbalance. I, I still think things trigger those chemical imbalances. Like people have traumatic instances. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That that definitely, mm-hmm. like in his case, fame, yeah, power, I agree. ego, all those things can can have an impact on your life. I agree. I just would like to see the reason why I don't. You know, I feel bad for him if he's dealing with like a real mental illness. But I just feel like so much of it is induced by just being purposely crazy. Like, I just do what I want. I'm Wait. Kanye. I just... I, I, like, when I, I heard I, him arguing about... For instance, one of the things that always rubbed me wrong that I still don't love is, like, back when he was ranting and raving, I think it was in the You Don't uh, you don't Have the Answers sway yeah. about how to start a clothing line and that he had no help and that he blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you're Kanye West. Like, if you actually put some real effort in and build a team, like, you could build anything you want. It's just that you're looking for someone to, like, kind of anoint you and say, like the Zara guy, like, here's all of our resources, just go be Kanye West. Like, it's just a little bit, like, detached from reality because you're Kanye, right? Yeah. Um, I just think he brings a lot of it on himself. We'll see. Anyway, love. Everything's love. I love it. Yeah. Kanye, I love it still, (laughs) you know? I love love Kanye. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I love love all the albums. Okay, so, Kathy, just tell us that you love it. Tell us you love the episode. Don't, maybe we'll kill Proud of You. Should we kill Proud of You? I'm not done with proud of you. Okay. I think it's pretty disrespectful and I'd like to keep it. Tell us you're proud of us. <laughs> what about for somebody equal? Equal's tough for me too. They got it. They got it. You got to be. I, I think I can communicate the same. This is what we we're talking earlier. I can communicate the same message without saying proud and say like drama. You just killed that last podcast. Congratulations on your biggest day ever with Gary Vee or whatever. Right. I, I got, I got the same thing across, but I said, drama, I'm really proud of you. you you're, you're really working hard with those mic phones and whatever the fuck you're doing in your highlighting. I think I prouded you one time. <laughs> <laughs> now that I think of it. But here's the thing. Let me I be think honest I, when I called you that one day, on though, seriously, front. I think I told, I might've said that. Yeah, but here's the other thing. If you did, this is funny. This is like a therapy moment. If you did, uh, I, that doesn't bother me at all. Cause I look at you as like, Oh my God, I'm uh, getting prouded all over left and right by people. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, dog. They're proud of us. Damn. The listeners better do are proud a mass text back. Yeah. Because here's what you have to understand, right? Like <laughs> when I uh <laughs> like when I moved here and met you and you were a pro skateboarder and like we're so like I don't that doesn't bother me at all. That's like, oh, you're proud of me, that's dope because I still look at it like when I moved here and I was a little kid from Ohio and you right? So to be proud of the progress that I've made doesn't seem out of pocket. Okay. To me. But when Tyler drops it, it's like <laughs> Then he has to look for a new job. Tyler yeah. just got here, <laughs> watching his goddamn twenty five movies. movies. A month. <laughs> He's gonna be watching a lot of movies. Um, yeah, it's only it only stands out when it's like it has to be pretty flagrant. Yeah, it's true. I've mean, never thought of it that way. I think you're right though. Okay, let's just kill proud. Last but not least, yeah. Except for the Cathys, we're proud of all of you, and I hope you're proud of us. <laughs> um, last but not least, Europe did a study on cars, right? So we talk a lot about- Someone in Europe, not the whole continent. Well, that one person (laughs) is is speaking for all of Europe. Um, (laughs) So they uh, did a study of traffic cars, blah, blah, blah. We uh, talk a lot about birds on this show. Yeah. Um, Shout out to everyone sending me the bird graveyards. Really? I've never seen one of those. I haven't either. It's just a pile of birds. It's literally like um, an Instagram account that just shows Mm. piles of birds. Just uh, that's pretty they're all sick. broken. Like I was in Santa Monica this weekend. They're always broken. They're never a battery. Like what? So are they're you... broken or dead? Both. They just said this uh, bird is not usable at mm. the moment. I've never seen a, a bird graveyard. Are I you like... a fan of bird? I like it for certain use cases. I think, like for example, where I run in Santa Monica, on the beach path mm-hmm. where the bikes are, they banned them because a third grader got his teeth knocked out. And That's what happened? Yeah. I knew that was So coming. I was asking someone in Santa Monica about it. And like, yeah, some kid just got <laughs> nailed. And this weekend, there's signs everywhere. Don't use electric scooters. Electric scooters, ban, 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 ban. There's just people flying on them, mm-hmm. flying on them. I'm yelling at them. I'm like the angry old man. Like, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. And I'm just like, dude, this is so unsafe. Because they just, they're just so reckless. Because it's all young kids I think not wearing helmets it. I think they're gonna kill it yeah me it's too. too crazy yeah me too you are they gonna, they're gonna regulate kill it in terms of what or, or are they gonna regulate them to death kill it in terms of like it's either illegal or so incredibly regulated that it essentially kills it so here here's the 
a, a couple of reasons why it could work. So part of this study, they talked about uh, car utilization and kind of the best use of an automobile. And so they found a study that 50, this is in Europe, 50% of most city land is dedicated to streets, roads, parking, service stations, driveways, signals, and traffic signs. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're saying that f only 5% of this is actually used at like highest utilization levels. Then- This is in major cities? Yeah. Okay. I think this is just across Europe. I don't think it's a specific to a city. Okay. And then th th this is where it gets really interesting. The bird case. Average European car has five seats, but carries an average of one and a half people per trip. So people are just driving these big ass cars yeah. with nobody in it. Yeah, same. Um, of the time you spend in your car, 92% uh, is actually the car is parked. 5% hmm. you're actually driving. 1.6% of the time you're looking for parking and then 1% sitting in congestion. So it's really talking about like our whole world is built for car utilization, mm -hmm. but we're not actually utilizing it to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Then I think the biggest uh, thing is 95% of accidents ca are caused from human error. Yeah, of course. So there you have the self-driving car uh, strategy. I think we're all flying around in little pods. By flying, you mean on the ground still, right? I, we start in the ground and we end up in the air in 25 years. 25? Yeah. Wow. And birds just, you think birds just thrive? I think it's not a bird, it's a pod. It's not a scooter. I think you're using bird, line, lift, Uber, but you're in a, in a one to two person pod and you're just zipping around in a safe, like almost like, you know, the Pope yeah. flies around yeah. in one of those things. Yeah. You just see your friends like, hey. Yeah, you're like, hey, drama. You Let's know how much see. more time you'd have for yeah. all your... You know, you could you could play with Dom yeah. if you didn't have to drive. Yeah, you could have that Instagram time on the. Yeah, the driving's a jam up. Yeah, fully. Yeah, it's just so how what, quick. What's it like? So you live out more in the suburbs. Yeah, it's it's total. I'm in a different world than Where you guys do you live? in a sense. I'm Thousand Oaks. Got it. So and Deep so Valley. Our, so do so Uber is like not like it is here. If I do Uber to my house, I'm waiting ten minutes for sure. Yeah. Um. There's so like on three a Friday of them. night. You're planning to get shit canned. Do you take an Uber or you just drink and drive? <laughs> because well, I Uber. see it in Orange <laughs> Nobody's in listening. Or in, in Orange County, <laughs> even if when anybody's here, I have drink and drive all the time. Because in Orange County, when I go visit my in-laws, I see everyone drinking six, seven, eight margaritas, sure. hop into their car, and just zoom home. Because it's like a five-mile ride. It's yeah. a quiet street. Drinking and driving in the suburbs is still... I mean, it's not as bad maybe as here, but it could be so bad still, <laughs> yeah. right? So no, we still Uber, but it's just not as convenient as here. There's no birds yet. There's there's nothing that's really easy. But Especially you, like if we're at the, if you go to the bar, Thousand Oaks, and you Uber, dude, you're waiting 45, 50 minutes because there's four of them floating around, <laughs> you know? And there's no birds. There's no so, like, birds at all. when you come down to Wilshire, are you, were you like, what the Seriously, shit? I discovered bird not that long ago. I think a month ago. I was like, what the hell are these things? Because yeah. there was like four of them sitting on a corner. Yeah. And I was like, did somebody leave these? But so so your uh, kind of friend circle in Thousand Oaks, mm -hmm. are they're, they're not Ubering like the way we are. Like no, all day, every the day. only time they're Ubering is if alcohol is involved. Yeah. But they won't like Uber to the office. Yeah. You know? Mm -mm. So that's where, like, so that's why I think this is another ki perfect example of a business. This is like awesomeness TV to me. Yeah, I don't think birds are going to exist in suburbia. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, yeah but I don't think I agree. I agree with you. I'll tell you, you're probably five miles away from like a grocery store. Yeah, I agree. Right? I totally agree so with you. So you're going to go five miles on a bird. Bird dies. Got to go find another one. Yeah. And then you're carrying three grocery bags. Like, no, it works in like yeah, no urban chance. areas. It's only four cities yeah. though. But yeah. they're raising money. Like they're you know yeah. what are they on right now the birds bird and lime are in the billions they're worth billions of dollars already jeez and w they've been around six months seven yeah, months yeah the bird guys pocketed like over a hundred million <laughs> under a year because he's like off the table from the oh, so they're yeah. not so like I just think that you know when I read this uh, report about car utilization there's a serious issue with the way the cities were built mm -hmm. totally. that it's going to change now, especially urban areas. Like if you think about if you we, you truly believe in self-driving cars, um, Uber, Lime, Bird, I think the worst business to be in is own a parking lot. Oh, yeah. They're screwed. 
There's no reason. Like, imagine all the space in LA, no yeah. more parking lots now. Yeah. yeah. All the that, parking decks. Yeah, but they're not, screwed. They're, they're, not, they're not screwed because they, they, they can easily convert the land into living True. for a sense. Yeah. True. But, uh, dude, it's crazy to think what, I mean, dude, will we even need garage doors anymore or garages in our so, houses? So, so imagine, so, the, I, so I was talking to someone about this, like the redevelopment of a city like LA. No parking, no parking lots, for example. Then do apartment buildings need to have parking lots? Do houses need to have None driveways? None of them do, right? You can utilize space better, and you just don't own a car. Yeah. Oh, we're headed there. We're absolutely headed there. Yeah. And shopping malls don't need to exist. Yeah. Well, they're all slowly that space. not. Yeah. Yeah. Right? They're There's a lot of space not. about the open But that's yeah. Elon's whole thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Isn't his whole thing figuring out like how to fix what we did? Yeah. No, no, I agree. I just think it's crazy that, but we, but when you think about us, then I think about like your life. But even my life, right? Even my life that's maybe not as much of a jam up as here. Like I'm dying for them to release so my car drives itself. Yeah. I don't want to drive anymore. Yeah. Like I weigh so much. Like I come to LA all the time, right? Yeah. So I'm two you hours here. Influencing. I could be just think about what I could be doing. <laughs> yeah. Two hours in a car there, two hours in a car back. Four hours of my day I could be productive instead of staring at the road. Yeah. Or at least I'm listening to books, but like I could be like actually working. Yeah. You know? And there's a lot of people in my area that are commuting. It's going to be interesting. I'm Because I, I see the urban case for everything. I always think about the suburban case. Well, as far as yeah. the bird, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Um, the ton of driving, though, I think that's worldwide. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. And just cars in general, like what happens to this industry? They're just gone. Yeah, they're gone. I think like you don't need a hot whip. You don't need a hot mm -mm. Lambo. No. Because you're just hopping in some pod. Yeah. Oh man, but, do you, but, is there, but do you get like a Lambo pod? I would definitely want Quavo's I, not like hopping sure out of a regular yeah, pod. I think sure the rich people pod. own their own pods. Yeah, I think everyone yeah. just yeah. hops in the pods. Yeah. The rich people have their own. They Bentley can direct pod. them certainly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You license the names. Sound make, system. Yeah. Better interior. Sonos. Should we all start? moving our business in that direction yeah, yeah. We podcasting and yeah. lambo pod yeah. all pod if it's not a pod we don't want it yeah jewel pods deep pod also <laughs> all right we did it guys thank you for watching mikey thank you yeah for doing this thanks man. for having me what's tell them your uh what's your main thing instagram what do you mean oh where to find me yeah yeah instagram well, yeah just mikey, mikey, mikey taylor, taylor, taylor or mm, no? just mikey taylor mikey taylor everyone go tell him you're proud of him oh thank you, you like this episode be like yo you killed it proud of you please it hit the follow lot. and say proud <laughs> yeah 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 also follow <laughs> <laughs> there it is thank you guys uh keep following and also if you're not if you're watching this on youtube make sure you go subscribe to our podcast on itunes uh because we're doing three episodes a week there and pretty soon we're going to be doing five Wow. The full time newsman. Newsman. <laughs> yep. Ted Koppel. There we go. Signing off. Signing off. <laughs> good night <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs>